Hey, welcome to Buy Habit by Akuyuka. No, from Akuyuka. I'm sure McCrossin. So recently, Chase Jarvis, um, professional photographer and all sorts of crazy stuff, uh, started doing a series of videos uh, called 30 Days of Genius. Um, sticking them on YouTube. Uh, he talks a lot about how he could have done it on television, but he would have had restrictions. I think he's sponsored by Virgin, uh, as in like Richard Branson. So he's interviewed on it. Um, but the thing that got me was he keeps mentioning habits and this has been with me for a couple of weeks now actually. Uh, this, this really, really powerful idea that instead of setting a goal, like I think he uses the, I want to lose 10 pounds. Um, instead of setting that goal, because you reach that goal and then that's the end. And it's also seems unattainable somehow. What he says is he sets himself a list of habits and if he follows them habits, he can't help but reach that goal. So we're not even actually setting that goal. That's something like a milestone along the way. Uh, for example, uh, drinking water as you wake up, uh, having a good sleep pattern. Um, I know that the one that I've had for a long time that's kind of unconscious and how I how I lost weight when I lost weight uh, was to swap out foods for veg and fruit, so lots of like snacking on fruit instead of, you know, crisp and chocolate. And I didn't realize, but I was actually creating a habit. And so now I don't even think about it. Fruit is like my go-to thing, I, you know. I grab like five, six, seven pieces of fruit for my lunch and I'm like, that's just what you do. At work, people are like, fucking hell, you eat a lot of fruit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I'd eat a lot of biscuits if uh, if I was my old self, but this is because of this habit. And as I say, I've been doing that for a while and I hadn't realized. So cut to now and I'm starting to like piece together that this is something I can apply to a lot more things. Um, and that's really what I want to get um, sort of put together with this podcast is... Um, testing out the sort of limits of habits um, whether it can help you sleep help how healthy you are the big thing for me is mental health um, suffered from anxiety for, for basically all my life uh, even back when I was in high school my mum and dad always said you can't they couldn't put pressure on me because I put too much on myself anyway um, that kind of broke probably college time, so the pressure was the wrong kind of pressure. And then come uni time and come after that, it spiraled down into depression and that was that was a dark time. And without knowing it, over the last year, year and a half, I've created these habits and they've begun to to really help me, um, help me focus on what's important, help me talk to people, because that was a big one, not being able to like uh, talk about these uh, emotions and things like that. So mental health, huge for me. Physical health, um, I do a very physical job for the most part, so I tend not to get fat, but then this is, you know, partially down to the habits that I've got, having um, so drinking so much water. I drink at least two liters while I'm at work every day. Uh, a pint in the morning, so like half a liter, and probably a little bit with with tea, and then sort of a little bit before I go to bed. That really helps. Um, as I say, working really helps, and and just enjoying kind of an active life as opposed to you know, one that I had before where I was sitting down quite a lot, driving quite a lot. 
So all this together is me looking at, instead of setting these long-term goals, and I've got these ideas about educating people and about, um, you know, these are long-term um, ambitions to to have a space where I can bring people into, and, you know, uh, again, it's ch like a Chase Jarvis uh, idea that the education system is broken. I know he's talking about over in America, but I really think that just in a, a general sense, this kind of like kids in a classroom memorizing, not necessarily learn, like not necessarily learning how to do things, just learning facts. We've got the internet, your phone is on you all the time. You don't really need to learn facts. I know that you probably should know some stuff, but it's not essential these days. But knowing why to do things and, and how to keep yourself healthy, I think that's really important. That's a long-term goal. And having a, a huge ambition further down the line is, is tough because you're like, I don't know how to get there. You see what you want and you see where you are and the bit in between is, is no man's land. And so for me, putting this podcast together is going to allow me to focus on short term habits. Uh, that is to say, forming habits in the short term that will become just what I do. So recently I've started using some apps and stuff. I'm kind of big on that. Um, if I can find something that will help to augment my memory and my brain, because I have a terrible memory, um, I, like to, I like to use them. And there's this thought that people kind of go looking for the apps and they ignore the hard work. So, you know, you download Runkeeper and you feel like just having it is, is enough to get you fit. So I'm, I'm going to sort of throw it out there, the ones that I have, um, but you need to do the hard work, I guess. And as I say, this isn't a um, prescriptive thing. This is you watching me do something that I'm putting out there and the reason I'm putting it out there is because I think it'll help me do these things uh, by giving me a little bit of accountability because hopefully people will want to see if it fails, if it succeeds. So there's apps. Um, one is um, Habit List, I think. Uh, it's paid app, probably iOS only. Um, it's so it tracks your habits, gives you kind of you can kind of gamify it, which is something that really helps me. And then the other one, which is just upsetting, is called Moment, and it runs in the background on your phone, and it tells you how much you use your phone, and it is depressing. Well, it's for me anyway. It's like four hours a day on screen time. So. That's you know that's something I've got to work on. I know that that's a bad habit that I've got. Uh, I've not really spoke about that yet, but bad habits, getting rid of them is, you know, that's it's another thing to work on. So yeah, I I really hope that people find this interesting. This isn't a how-to. This is a sort of follow along and watch how I fail and hopefully succeed in some ways. Um, but yeah, so subscribe if you're interested, um, if not, don't waste your time.